Hey everyone, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with the VVOMI update video. I'm so sick as heck, so we're going to try to make this short and sweet. As for new, welcome. For not, welcome back. I love y'all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Commenting, liking, and subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non-free ways are Patreon and smashing that super thanks button down below. Now, um, in my last video, I got a lot of questions like, 5 cent Omi is ridiculous. 10 cent Omi is ridiculous. The reason I'm talking about this is because if you missed my last video, uh, I had gone over the price predictions that me, Dr. Stuff, Crypto Rain did all in our stream on Monday, and he was the one that made the highest prediction of five cents. And I was like, I just echoed that. I was like, well, yeah, the narrative changes and X, Y, and Z happens. This could, this could happen. And now that was for 2024, not at the peak of the next bull market. The peak of the next bull market, I believe, is going to be around 10 cents. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor anymore. I'm just, uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm just someone that likes to do the math on things. So let's do the math. Okay, uh, first, what would you need to get to a market cap of $0.05 cents and $0.10? Cents? Now again, Crypto Rain's $0.05 cent prediction is just for 2024. My $0.10 cent prediction is for 2025, or wherever the hype of the next, height of the next peak uh, bull market is. So we'll do $0.10 cents first, because that math is easier. So... We go and we take, let's say Omi's at a dollar, however long that takes there, eight years, 10 years, whatever, to a dollar. Well, what would the market cap be? Because there's 310 billion in circulating supply, and even if we have no, zero burns, which we know that about 5.5 billion are going to be burned as soon as the Omi to Gem liquidity pool opens up, which means we're going to be able to take our Omi and buy gems on directly on the VV app. So whenever that opens up, 5.5 million get burned. You have a million gems on top of that that's already going to be donated into that app. So you have another million dollars worth of Omi that could be burned straight away if we want. But let's say there is no burns. Let's say that it said 300, uh, let's, just, let's say 300 billion. Okay, well, a dollar, that's a $300 billion market cap. All right, now we extrapolate from there. Well, at 10 cents, that'd be a 30, but if we're doing 310, about $31 billion market cap. Now, Randy Chavez, why do you think we're going to get there? That is so far beyond of where we are right now, of just a couple hundred million. That is over a hundred X away. And you're right, it is. Well, my reasons for that is because we have uh, companies like Decentraland and Sandbox. Decentraland has their token Mana, and Sandbox has their token Sand. Well, they have at the last bull market had, I think, 15 and 17, billion, or, or 17 and 18, they had between 15 and 20 billion market caps um, by themselves. I'm sorry, I just checked that was wrong. They had a nine and $10 billion market cap respectively. It was about 19, okay. I think we can go and be, because our, we have so much more active daily users than them, we should be able to go and, and have much more of a market cap than they do. But even if we don't, you know, we don't need to have a $37 uh, billion market cap. We just need a $30 billion market cap for that 10 cent. And again, this year, we would need a $15 billion market cap in order to go and reach Crypto Rain's uh, predictions, which, uh, again, sounds a little bit uh, harder to do in that short amount of time. But again, once that narrative changes, it's it's all over. Like we saw at Steamboat Willie uh, the other day, people are putting millions of dollars into this JPEG that it is not licensed by anyone. There's no historical benefactors, There's no nostalgia. Obviously, we have the Steamboat Willie over on Vivi, which uh, they're around the same price. So it's around for the ultra rare anyway, you know, a couple hundred dollars per per image. So that's how you go and uh, you can tell what people are willing to spend, you know, a couple million dollars just like that. And again, that's for an unlicensed piece of uh, of tech. Once that narrative changes and a lot more people get in, then you have a uh, quite a bit more. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, well, Randy, that's that's the math on it. That's fine. But how do we know the sentiment's going to get there? Well, you have this perfect storm that's coming out right now, which is the Bitcoin to ETF is one of them. That's going to bring massive money to crypto, which that that might be passed in the next couple of days. Outside of the Bitcoin ETF, or there's going to be multiple of those, um, which is by itself is just a home run. But outside of that, you have Biden's re-election re campaign. Now, I'm, got, I'm not going to get into any crazy politics here, but one of the things that he's going to run on 
uh, is going to be the stock market and the market in general. So he'll use the Federal Reserve to print money and inject it into the economy. That combined with lower interest rates will result in the stock market going crazy, people taking out profits to put into crypto, making loans uh, be uh, sold out easier. So this way business owners take money, they start spending. And then the third one is just the digital collectibles narrative, which we had already talked about, but also the metaverse narrative. Both of those are going to change to positive again, this time with institutional money and retail money, as shown by points one and two. And when that pendulum swings, it'll correct hard. When does this happen? I don't know. It could be, it, it might not, might not even be until next year, might not even be till 2025. Uh, but I'm going to say because of exchanges and because of the having a narrative, I'm, I'm going to say probably cute mid this year, we have some, some big ups. All that being said, not the best day for Omi. Omi is down about 5.7% to triple zero six three. We do have a million dollars in trading volume though. We haven't had that in a long -o time. Now this is obviously doing uh, a bit worse than, or, well, actually about the same as ETH. ETH's down 5.8%, Bitcoin down 4.8. Uh, BNB is actually up 1.7. We have Solana down 7.1, XRT down 6.6, Lido Stake down 5.8, Cardano down 7, Avalanche down 8%. Doge minus not like most like Polygon is down 11%. Most of these top 100 are, are down and Omi is actually outperforming or not going down as much as some of these. So just kind of food for thought there. Uh, some VV news going on. Uh, if you are a master collector, go to the Discord, press that little party cannon thing uh, to be entered in this week's giveaway. We do have a little bit to go over in the top 500 uh, wallets here. Now, if we go over the sellers, the top three, you actually have Namecoast. Namecoast is a big, big whale uh, that he helped just co-own that uh, the 1923 partner statue. He sold about 36 collectibles this past week. You have Ferryman that sold 53, and you have Lucky Ruby Rocky that sold 165. So altogether, that is like a 200, like 250, 260, give or take. Uh, which is a good amount, but again, writ small just by the one who's in third place for the top gainers this week. We have uh, Nix Noriel that had purchased 282 collectibles. Uh, he moved 16 spots up to spot number 69. Everyone comment nice down below the 69. You have Colonel Stats that bought 472 collectibles. And Bizojman, which bought 494 collectibles. Bizojman has four, over 40,000 collectibles, which is heckin' nuts. And the top 500, I think like two weeks ago, we needed like 1307. Now we need like 1328. So you're getting like an average of like 10, like 10 or 11 collectibles per week uh, in order to maintain that top 500. So shout out to them for that. Um, good times. So be advised, guys, if you go in and you take a look at some of the bronze tickets, which I really should have talked about when talking about Omi, um, but it's just one of the catalysts that we have. They are non -tran they, they are they are transferable, they are non-refundable, and they do not expire. You are able, we not we might not be able to trade NFTs just yet, but we're able to trade these bronze tickets eventually. We will start to get them in uh, uh, April first. You know we'll have to accumulate this quarter. April first we'll start to be able to use them. My I, my bet though is that we're able to go and get an article around March, saying what we can use them for, what they might be worth. Same thing with MCP points, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, good times. One of the things I should mention that Mike H brought up the other day is like people place so much emphasis on market cap. Most people, especially new investors, have no idea or care about market cap, which is a rep, which is irrelevant during a uh, a bull market. And double zero people will buy at double zero seven, thinking it'll hit a dollar. Fair point. Uh, you're gonna have people that are gonna buy at half a penny, like oh, it'll go to a couple cents. You'll have people that'll buy at a couple cents, thinking it'll go to ten cents. People buying at 10 cents thinking it can go to a dollar. You'll have people buying at all time highs. I, I knew a couple people last uh, last bull market. I don't know if any of them did it with Omi, um, but they had bought the highs on several things like, and they, they're down a lot. So when you go and you take a look at all of the people, and again, new people enter every single day, when all of the people, what they're doing and uh, how much money they're spending a lot of people are fairly new because they have that FOMO, they have a fear of missing out, and you know they don't want to miss the boat. And they're like, oh, i got to do it now, i got to do it now. Meanwhile, you can probably do it over a couple days. You don't have to get in right now. Um, obviously, again, not financial advice.
Shout out to Michael Campo that started the new year breaking into level 90. He's going to be level 100 this year. Shout out to him. Can't wait to see him hit that level. Uh, shout out to Niddle or Nick Caffey One that had purchased a 350 GT Verde Scuro. This is the Lambo. Number 58 for 2,700 doll hairs. Uh, so it's a secret rare. Um, it's worth it to him. Even if most people be like, well, that... That's not worth it for that. You know, you can get like a sub 100 R2-D2 golden moment. You can get, uh, you know, a, a secret rare Luke Skywalker. You know, you could get multiple, multiple Todds or, you know, a couple Resos for that. Well, maybe he already has those. And what do you do when you already have, you know, checking off that checklist? I have this, I have this, I have this. Well, this is the one that he doesn't have, or at least maybe not sub 100. So if it's not worth it to you, it's probably not worth it to most people. But to some people, it's going to be worth it. And some people are going to go... And they're going to get that bread. Like Greg McClure that had reached level 77. Shout out to him. And uh, Mike Colson saying they need to keep burning books. Meaning the comic books that they've been going and burning. Uh, a couple of these comics like Marvel Preview number 7, Marvel Preview number 4 had jumped a couple hundred percent in just a couple hours. Because people started burning them. Started getting FOMO. I want one. I want one. <coughs> and that's the type of thing that happens. The Avengers logo the other day went from 77 gems to 118 gems. Which it's like, okay, well, that's what, 41 gems? Yeah, but it's also like more than a 50% increase. So some of these things do happen. And uh, we do have an update from the VV app. It's just minor fixes and improvements. I know I kind of went over a little bit of that yesterday, but I didn't want to. Um, uh, but after yesterday, just in case people didn't, didn't see. We have Omicron saying if Omi hits five cents this year, he's getting a Mount Rushmore of VV tattoo containing me, Jordan Rees, Dr. Stuff, and Crypto Rain. He'll be the second person to have my uh, my name or face on their body. Also, speaking of Bitcoin ETFs, you have uh, TD's uh, TD Cowan saying SEC will approve spot Bitcoin ETFs by January 10 deadline as political necessity. Again, that's 15 billion TD Cowan. Community be doing a lot of giveaways. Dana Eight said this is probably the coolest comic I own now. Can't wait to get it graded. Thank you, Mr. MC One. Or this, and it is an Infinity Gauntlet comic with some Disney characters on there, which I thought was really cool. Uh, shout out to him for that. Also, speaking of Disney, do you remember their 100-year uh, uh, anniversary video called Once Upon a Studio, where they happen to have uh, Walt Disney, and then you see Mickey Mouse in there, um, see Mickey Mouse in the reflection of his photo? That apparently was the first time that anyone had gone on and edited those two together in a video, like they were interacting with each other in a video. So I thought that was really cool. And then I also thought, okay, what else is historical with that? Well, we have them as a statue. Um, there's a reason why Dr. Prophet has 10% of those statues. It's because, <laughs> excuse me, uh, it's because he sees the future as first appearance of Mickey Mouse on the blockchain. And if you can't buy 10% of the company, because Vivi's private, you know, there's no public public shares of it, well, you might as well <coughs> buy 10% of their most valued item, or Disney's most valued item. And I, I do think that is it. As much awesome stuff that they have on there that is under the Disney umbrella, let's say like Moana, Encanto, Frozen, Simba, um, or even their other properties, like um, Mr. Marvel Mighty. I have a bunch of those, uh, the, the Luke uh, number 43 set. That right there, though, that's that's incredible. Um, I, uh, if, if prices are still down here in a couple months, I'll, I'll get one. Um, I would like to get a little more Omi, but, you know, give me X amount of money right now. I'm, I'm going to chill and, and live life. But if it's still down here in a couple months, I would like to start buying really in... I would say March if we're still down here because I, I think after that halving happens, uh, I, I think we go we kind of go parabolic. Shout out to Bill Gardner that had reached level 55. Uh, good on him. I think he's a little bit ahead of me. Uh, the Fiches had some news saying something colossal is coming this Friday. Comically large. This has been in the works for a while and we can't wait for you to finally get your hands on it. Uh, Brock says you're not going to believe it. This is probably bigger than Pikachu. So I said, well, Pikachu is only about 1.4 feet. So... You know, it's a very low bar, and, and Brock says, yes, definitely bigger. Just because, again, Pikachu is really small. But speaking of the fiches, and, and I really should have gone on and, and told you all about this while I was talking about Steamboat Willie, but he had uh, he gave us an airdrop 
uh, I think, I don't know if it was on January 1st. Yeah, I think it was January 1st, maybe January 2nd. They gave us an airdrop of a Steamboat Willie because, again, public domain now. So you see him hanging next to, you know, DJ Octavius, whatever he's called. Charles Delgado super happy that he made the top 100 in the VV wallets. And all it takes to get there is 1,200 collectibles and over 1,900 comics. And you're in. I think that's why people really like the 3,000 uh, mint mark, because if or 3,000 collectible mark, because if you have over 3,000, you'll be close to that uh, to that page. Uh, the Maestro, they had burned that as well as some of the, uh, the comics that we have. They had burned 772 editions of Maestro, so good times. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Uh, David will be on Spaces today at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, for Mr. MC One's uh, Twitter Space, where he's going recognizing people. I'm not gonna stream it. I am. I'm literally dying. So I will. Um, I'll be laying in my bed having that play right next to me. But please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye to Dashi. Bye, Dashi. I love you guys. Meow. 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 Meow.